Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. Today is December 21st, I'm picking up where I left off in the last episode, and we ended on a cliffhanger. I think I've coded up this test properly. What this is testing is whether or not the Save, a Save As dialog is hooked up to the application model. And um, I was going to see if it worked. So let's run it, and I should get a uh, application model, should be told to save expected example path name was null. Let's see if we actually get that. We do. Okay, that's good. And now, down here, I want to say, and in fact, this should be a new file. Because I'm comparing files to files. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay, so so all we need to do is say do save, and this is the one line of code that's untested, and that's where something like Window Liquor would help. But um, I'm okay with that one line of code being untested. And actually having that comment there is kind of nice, so that if I ever come along and um, and make changes, then I'll know to test that manually. But in terms of things that could possibly go wrong, I'm pretty comfortable with just leaving that in there and testing it manually. I'm not particularly worried about regressions, which may be naive, but I think it's going to be okay. I certainly, I know that, you know, there's a lot of code out there that has much poorer test coverage than we do, and it and it somehow manages to survive. So I think that will be okay. Um, so, and now in our do save, we're not going to do the whole thing yet. We just say new file, file on the file. That should be enough. Now that save method doesn't exist, and so I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. And um, We'll have to do it here. And that I'm going to just leave as is. It's something we'll have to do later. And in my spy here, I'll say save called with file. Okay. And the test passes. Great. Great. Okay. So that means that this is mostly working. And I'm going to test this manually because I don't entirely trust it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a little print statement right here. No, that's... yes. Um, And let's run it and save. And we should see that print up here. OK, great. Uh, but I do see an issue. It didn't pass in the directory. So actually, we need to include the directory. So that's it's good that I did that test. Again, uh, TDD can't save you from your assumptions being wrong. And I was wrong about how git file worked. Um, so. And in fact, I wish Java, the Sun folks, had programmed the dialog to return a file object and not a string, but say la vie. So let's see. Um, we need to test that 
save as dialog should tell application model to save. We really need it to do both directory and, and file name. I think I think that will work. Well, first, actually, before I test that manually, I'll run the test. That should fail because I'm not actually including. Yeah, I expected example path name, but it was just path name. This should be file name because it's no longer a path name. Yeah, good. So now in here, I need it to see the um, get directory get file. And I think that will work. Yeah, it does. Good. And now we run it and Look at that. Gives me everything. That's great. So um, let's do a few more, just a little teeny bit of exploratory testing here. Is there some way for me to break it? Um, what happens if I go up here? Oh, I just can't save up here. Uh, what if I go here? Yeah, I think that was right. Um, is there a way to break this? Hmm. I don't think so. I think I'm going to have to trust that the save as dialog re always returns a valid value. Um, you know, that's not particularly trustworthy. Um, I hit cancel on that through an exception. That's okay. that's expected. I haven't coded that bit yet. Um, let's see. This is the this is the file dialog. Let's do a quick search on whether or not that ever returns a bad result. So Java file dialog. Um, return bad file name. Does that ever happen? It says returns the potentially null or invalid directory of this file dialog. So it is possible for this to return a bad directory. So when that happens, we need to do something. So let me add that to my to-do list. Um, it's not something I really want to deal with right now. So deal with uh, file dialog returning invalid directory. So we'll come back to that one later. Um, okay. Now back at this. So we've got a passing test. It's good. Now we need to. So save as dialog should tell application model to save when save button pushed. And then here, I think I want to say save as dialog should do nothing when cancel button push. Um, 
copy this in. I'm just going to copy the whole thing. I wonder if I should have the application frame always be created with the mock model. I'll just put a note. So here we'll set this to null. Let's just run some exploratory tests here. What happens if the directory is null but the file is not? That's a potentially invalid case. Um, let's go back to here. File dialog, get directory, returns the potentially null or invalid. Okay, so we need to handle the case when directory is null but file is not. You, so the only case that signals cancel is the returned file being null. This is <laughs> not a great class. I mean, it's it's fine, but I think. This is one of those write once, test everywhere situations where I think many different app platforms can return many different results. I don't know. I'm going to be as thorough as I can in testing this, but I can't test on all the platforms. If I was doing real application development, I would have to actually do some manual tests on every platform to make sure. And some fairly extensive exploratory testing is trying to expose all the corner cases. I'm not going to do that here because um, this isn't a real production professional application. Uh, and that's one of the things that isn't very interesting to watch on a video. So it's just not going to, I'm not going to do it. Um, so here, I want to say, should do nothing when the cancel button is pushed. So the cancel button is pushed just means that the file name is null. But let's go ahead and set the directory to null as well. So we'll set that to null, we'll set that to null, and we'll say application model should not have been told to save. There. Let's see what happens. We got a null pointer exception. Uh, that's expected. So now here in our do save method, we can say if dialog or save as dialog get file equals null, then we'll return. That's just a simple guard clause. And to make things a little prettier, we'll say string directory equals save as dialog dot get directory string file equals save as dialog dot get file. And then file not equals null. Save directory, comma, file. Yeah, that should still work. Okay, cool. I think we have got this done. Um, so next time we'll do a little cleanup and then move on to the next step. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I will catch you next time.